Well, if you're used to one in Windows 7, you're used to seeing uh, something called Action Center down here in the lower right-hand corner. And you'll have the icons here, depending upon what's running, will pop up and notify you. You can click on Customize and customize which ones notify you uh, when. And in Windows 8, it didn't change much. Still have the same interface. Still have the icons on the taskbar and the overflow in the little box. And you can configure it here. Well, if you've ever, if you have a Windows phone, uh, you'll know that the Action Center is quite different in Windows 8.1 and even more different in Windows 10. If you pull down from the top of the screen, the Action Center pulls down, and you'll see here we have the actions that are actually occurring, but it also has a Notification Center portion of it, which tells you if you've got some mail coming or appointments and things like that. If you expand the icons or the tiles for the actions, there's all the different things you can do, like turn on Bluetooth on and off, things like that. Well, because Windows 10 is going to be on all devices, it's borrowed that from the phones. Now, if you click down here, you'll see it pops out from the right-hand side of the screen. Now, on the top is the actual notification center. To click to act on that notification, you just click on it, and it'll pop up whatever that task is, whether it's a mail or it's a calendar. In this case, it's uninstalling an extension. And once you do that and you go back to the action center, that action has been removed from the list showing that you've completed it. And at the bottom, we have the, the tiles for those commonly done actions uh, that you might be doing every day. Uh, this doesn't have too many because of desktop, so go, let's go take a look at a tablet version of this. Now, since the tablet has more things like uh, accelerometers and, and Bluetooth and things like that, we're going to find more on this tablet. So if we go down here to the Action Center on, on this one, and we click on the Action Center, uh, you'll see that it comes out. And there, there's an example of the mail that's waiting for me. And then below that is all the Action Center icons. So if we scroll down, you'll see other things, by the way. Other mails from other accounts, whatever is out there. Uh, and you might just get notifications like they're trying to sell me office. Twice, as a matter of fact. But down here at the, the bottom side, you'll see all of the actions. So you can do things like turning off Bluetooth, uh, go into airplane mode, uh, change your screen brightness, just by clicking on these little tiles. You don't have to go actually go into the settings to do that. These are handy little things that are there. Now that being said, you can still get the settings from here uh, by just by clicking on the All Settings uh, tab. So if we go over there to the top left or top right, you'll go to the same screen you get through the Start menu. And this is where you have full access to your, your settings. This is your new control panel. So there you have it, the Action and Notification Center in Windows 10 and showing you how they're combining the operating system. Actually, it's going to be the same operating system, whether it's on the phone, tablet, or on a desktop. And it, uh, you can access these things in the same manner on any one of those devices. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.